<sighs> All right, where do I begin? Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Hello, my name is Adrian. Full name, Adrian Armas Paredes. Um, I'm making this video simply because just reflecting over my life. It's about to be five in the morning on my birthday, December 22nd, 2021. And this is basically a video so that I can look back upon it in the future. Whether my, my family can look back upon it, my son can look back upon it, and just realize this point in my life that I'm in. And how bad it really is and how bad it really needs to change. The people that will see this video, some of you will know me, some of you won't. The people who do know me, they know that I'm a genuine, very positive, very loving, happy, joyful person. And I truly am. But there is something about my life that whenever anyone gets close to me personally, whether it be family, whether it be friend, whether it be girlfriend, whether it be pets, even pets. Whoever gets close to me, I tend to hurt. I've hurt every single person around me who has gotten close to me. I'm in debt. I have a gambling problem. That I fail to break through every time I try breaking through it. I find a way back to it. And it's just it's just super annoying and it's keeping me it's keeping me down. I have a debt. I have I have a huge debt right now. Not only money wise, but just just the things that people have done for me over the past two years. The people that I've hurt along the way, the people that I've lied to along the way, the people that I've made wait for their money. It's bad. And sometimes I think that it, life would just be better without me. I owe my mom like three, four, five. I, I, I owe my mom my life. I haven't paid rent in how long? Five, six months? I haven't paid rent in how long? My room is a mess. I'm, I'm, oh, by the way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I just turned 24. It's December 22nd. I just turned 24. And I have the mindset of a child. My my room my room is that of a child. Messy paperwork. Paperwork of bills that I owe. Bills just thrown in the corner. Just me not worrying about it. A planner that I have here that I haven't fucking written in fucking months. In years. I haven't written on it in, in, in a year. Clothes that have been up there for weeks. Maybe a week and a half now. Laundry that has not been cleaned for a week and a half now. <sighs> Toys for my son that I never sent. A vacuum in the corner of the room that I never use. This red chair, that's my mom. And it's just in my room. My, my This is my room, guys. I'm fucking, my bed's a mess. I, 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 haven't, I haven't cleaned this in a week and a half, two weeks, three weeks maybe. That's been on the floor. That bucket's been there with clothes in it that I haven't cleaned. That's been up there for two weeks. This is my room. I just, I don't get it. It's, it. There's nothing about me on here. There's nothing about me in this room. It's not even my room. Like, I can't call it that. This is my clothes. And then this is my clothes right here. All of this is my clothes right here. There's my shoes. Do I even have shoes? I don't wear any of those shoes. I literally do not wear any of those shoes. Literally, all I wear is sandals all day. You want to see them? Here, here, here they are. I wear these Puma sandals all fucking day. And if I'm not wearing those, I'm wearing my work shoes that I keep in the car that I never take out of the car because... 
I pull up in my sandals and just put on my work shoes. I have no shoes. I, what the fuck? I'm 24. I, I, uh, so, well, I do have shoes. I just don't wear them. I just, I, uh, these are all the clothes that I have. I, I don't ever wear this anymore. And then the rest of the closet. Look, those are my clothes, right? From there. From right here. Onward this way. It is used as a storage unit for my mom. And I don't mind. I don't I don't mind. I like helping out. I don't mind, you know. But it's just like, damn, I'm 24 and living with my mom? I'm in debt. I owe her money. She pays my rent. I owe my aunt money. I, I owe my brother money. I'm a disappointment. My My son is turning seven years old January 21st in a month from now. <laughs> I wanted to see my son today for my birthday and I don't have the money right now to go up there and see him in Orlando. I live in Naples. It would probably take 50 to $60 to go see him. 40 bucks for food, 20 bucks for gas, or excuse me, 40 bucks for gas, 20 bucks for food, and I could see him. And I don't have that right now. Literally, bro. <sighs> I owe family money. I owe close friends money. And I owe previous exes money. Like, I, I, like that's just ridiculous. Ridiculous, bro. I really love and I really care everyone. And I hate the fact that I'm hurting every single person around me. And I have to avoid being around them so I can get my life together and not hurt them anymore. Because it sucks. It sucks not being able to get my mom, my family, my son a Christmas gift. This Christmas coming up in three days. I can't go out to New Year's and have a good time with anyone. Because I owe people so much. I've drained from everyone so much that I can't. It drives me insane. My grandma gave me a hundred bucks three weeks ago. Maybe a month ago by now. Maybe a month ago by now. My grandma gave me a hundred bucks that I asked her for money. And I told her I was going to give it back to her the next Friday. And I didn't even do that. I didn't even do that. <sighs> People tell me. Well, a couple of people told me that I'm just having a quarter life crisis. I've been having a quarter life crisis for the past two years. I haven't got my shit together. I haven't got my shit together. I've been wasting money. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad son. I'm a bad brother. I didn't get anything from my mom this her for her fucking birthday, August 23rd. That just passed months ago. I didn't get her anything for her birthday. I got her a $60 massage spa. I, I got her a $60 massage at some spa. And I couldn't even make the fucking appointment. I couldn't even make the appointment. I got her nothing for her birthday. I And I told her, please don't get anything for mine. Please don't get anything for mine. Please. And what does she do? She goes and gets me stuff. She goes and gets me a gift. Why? Why? Bro, I don't deserve it. You don't deserve it, please. I don't deserve it yet I don't deserve it yet I'm so sorry This is a sob story guys But fuck dude my life My life is not right right now It's not right My son I haven't spoke to my son in weeks 
I went up to Orlando for work and I, t and I told the mom, hey, I want to see him. And she told me, no, and I just, I shut down communication. And that that's not what you do as a father. That is not what you do with your son. I had, I had a stepfather growing up. He passed away a couple years ago. I haven't visited his grave. In a year, year and a half, two years, I haven't visited I haven't visited his grave in two years, bro. I am crying and sweating right now, bro. Profusely, dude. This is so sickening, bro. I just waste time. I just waste time. I'm 24. I'm wasting time, bro. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting energy. I'm not focused on the right things. I'm lazy. I have a decent work ethic. If I can get to fucking work, I have a decent work ethic. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I think I owe roughly... Fifteen twenty k between family, friends, exes, bills, debts, whatever you want to call it, which is everything, 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 everything. At least fifteen to twenty, easy, easy fifteen twenty k, bro. And yeah, it look, it's, it, it feels like a mountain. It feels like a mountain because I keep going back. To bad habits, that's all it is. Just breaking my bad habits, getting out of this laziness, fixing my life, and just and just starting moving forward. Just move forward. Do positive, stay positive. Just be you, be me, be me, be me. Son. Son, if you're going to watch us in the future, whatever age you are, so it doesn't matter what age you are, it just matters when you get things done. Don't you ever let yourself get to the point where I'm at. Ask for help and allow yourself to be helped. People have begged me to help them. They've tried to help me and I just reject it. And I'm I'm, I'm hard-headed, I'm I'm very hard-headed. I'm self-absorbed. I'm, I'm, I'm a hypocrite. I'm egotistical. I think I can do this alone. I just think I can do this alone. And I, I sincerely believe that I can. Because it, it doesn't help if I have my mom or a girlfriend or a friend help me with my addiction with poker. Help me with my laziness. Help me get disciplined. It doesn't matter if they help me for a month, six months, five years. The moment they're not there, if I go back to my same routines and just keep hurting everyone, that is not helping. But if you find yourself lost like I am now, then please find help. Seek it, accept it, allow it. I've got to get through this. I have to get through this. I have to. I just got to focus and figure out what to do. It, it was really good to let this go out. I needed to say all these things. And I will make life right. I will make life right. I know I have a purpose in this world. And it's time I find it. <sighs> starting tomorrow, starting today, today when I wake up, I find it tomorrow because I need to get some rest. I have to wake up in three hours, take my dad to the DMV. <sighs> Step by step, little by little. 
I will make everyone proud. I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs>